Looking at question 12, it says global warming reduces the ice and snow cover on Earth. Which of the following correctly describes the change in albedo and rate of energy absorption by the Earth? So we're getting, with global warming, we're getting uh, less ice and snow on the Earth. Um, so what's going to happen to our albedo and what's going to happen to the rate of energy consumption? Well, here's our formula for albedo here. So we're getting a, um, for this over here, because your ice and snow is being reduced, this amount over here is going to get less because uh, ice and snow being white, uh, you get a lot of reflection. So this is going to get um, less. So you're actually going to reduce, uh, there's going to be a reduction in albedo. Um, so it's going to be one of these two over here. Um, we're going to get either, it's going to either be B or D. Now, what about rate of energy absor absorption? Because more energy, because your albedo is being reduced, therefore you're obviously going to be absorbing more. So there's going to be an increase in that. So we are looking at B is our correct answer. Decrease in albedo, increase in the energy abs uh, absorption. Question 13. Which of the following energy sources result in the solar energy result from solar energy incident on the Earth? Nuclear fission? No. Um, this is actually B, wind energy. Wind energy is caused by convection currents. Uh, by heating up the air, it causes the air to expand um, and that causes um, it causes movement of the air. So that's all caused by solar energy. Nuclear fusion, no. Geothermal energy, no. I mean, these could have been caused long term ago, but um, generally we have um, wind energy would be your best your best answer there so B is the correct one question 14 says which of the following is a renewable and non-renewable energy resource? All right, so uranium is not, and this is a non-renewable source. I mean, this is renewable, but it takes so long to form the coal that we say it's non-renewable. Uh, tidal is renewable, and uranium is non-renewable. Also, um, and then, so this must be the correct answer. B is your correct answer there for that. Uh, 15. A thermal power station is 20% efficient and generates useful electric power at 1000 megawatts. The fossil fuel used to used has an energy density of 50 megajoules per kilogram. The mass of fuel in kilograms consumed every second is given by which of the following? So this 1000 megawatts means that you're using 1000 times 10 to the 6 joules per second. That's that's the amount that it's generating, the energy that it's generating, but it's only 20% efficient. So that means that whatever it was to start off with times um, is 20%. So 0 0.2 times x gives me that. So I can divide this by 0 0.2. And obviously you're going to get your amount of energy that you're putting in, the amount of energy that's coming in in the form of coal uh, must be 5,000 or 5 times megawatts. So you're needing 5,000 megajoules every second uh, for, for energy intake. Now we have here that your coal is 50 megajoules per kilogram. So we're actually wanting um, 5,000 joules. 
So here I just divide this by 50 and I get 100 um, kilograms. So we're going to have the uh, D, we're going to need 100 kilograms per second uh, coming in of coal. Question 16. Which of the following is likely to increase greenhouse gas concentrations in the atmosphere? Using natural gas instead of coal to generate electrical energy. Well, that will actually reduce it because natural gas, remember, natural gas um, power stations are more efficient than coal. So that won't increase. So that's not correct. Incineration of waste to generate electric energy. This certainly, when you ever you burn anything, you put in, you're putting carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. So that would increase you increase use of wind turbines. That certainly wouldn't. And carbon dioxide capture and storage. That's actually going to reduce the amount of carbon dioxide, which is a greenhouse gas. So B would be your correct answer. Question 17. It says Venus and Earth may be regarded as behaving as black bodies. So we got there's our formula for black bodies. The mean temperature of the surface of Venus is 600 K, 600 Kelvin, and the surface of the Earth is 300 Kelvin. Which of the following is the best is estimate for the ratio of power radiated per unit area on the Earth, power radiated per unit area? on Venus. So we're going to be using our formula that power is equal to sigma which is our uh, Stefan Boltzmann's constant surface area times t to the 4. Now we've got per unit area so these are going to be the same. Now we're going to have this the temperature here on Earth is half of that so if this is power um, for the Earth over power for Venus we're going to get sigma area and there we're going to get 300 to the 4 divided by sigma area 600 to the 4. So these two will obviously cancel out so we're going to get 300 over 600 to the power of 4 by using my exponential laws. So this is going to be 1 half to the 4 so that's going to be 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. It's going to be 1 16th, um, a half times itself four times. 18. In a nuclear power station, a moderator is required to control the rate of fission, um, not totally. Reduce heat losses to the surrounding, no. Reduce the energy of high energy neutrons. This is over here. The moderator slows down the neutrons because the neutrons are moving so fast. Um, they they tend not to interact with other nuclei uh, and therefore will not continue the reaction. And so your moderator actually slows them down so that they can interact. Uh, 19. We have degraded energy is energy, um, and I'm just going to go straight to the answer here, no longer available for performance of useful work. When the energy is degraded, uh, you can no longer use that energy to um, make electricity or to turn it into some other form of energy that we can use. Twenty. It says, which of the following correctly describes both the role of the moderator and of the control rod? So we've got the moderator and the control rods in a nuclear reactor. So the moderator slows down the neutrons. That's correct. Um, these are all incorrect. 
that slows down the neutrons is correct and the control rods what the control rods do is they are used to absorb the neutrons so as to control the whole reaction so that it doesn't form a chain reaction and therefore a nuclear bomb so it maintains a constant rate of fission by absorbing some of the neutrons the control rods absorb some of the neutrons and therefore controls the rate of fusion so that would be a would be the correct answer for that one 21 which of the following correctly shows the energy change in a photovoltaic cell and in a solar heating panel now solar heating panel we're just taking heat so it's um, energy from the sun from the sun in the form of light energy energy and it's just being changed into heat so we're getting a uh, solar solar to thermal in a in in a solar heating panel to be solar to thermal and solar to thermal and um, in a photo to photovoltaic so we're going from solar to electrical so it's going to be a and a so that is correct 22 the albedo for the oceans is lower than that for glaciers this is because compared to ice seawater uh, has a higher density well it it may have a a higher density but it's not that's not the relationship has a greater specific heat capacity that's also not um, relevant has a greater coefficient of volume expansion that's not relevant absorbs greater amounts of radia radia radiative power so this is a relevant thing because your albedo is all to do with the absorption of uh, energy from the sun power from the sun so D would be correct 23 it says which of the following is most likely to reduce the enhanced greenhouse effect so replace the use of gas powered stations with oil no that won't work because gas power is more efficient than oil oil power replace coal fired power stations with nuclear that will uh, reduce the greenhouse effect because nuclear power doesn't re release greenhouse gases doesn't re release carbon dioxide into the into the atmosphere as does coal uh, power there may be some water vapor that is re released but we don't have uh, carbon dioxide being released so B would be correct increase the use of all non renewable energy sources non renewable that would be like coal and oil and so forth that wouldn't help and decrease the efficiency of power production that certainly wouldn't help you'd have to use more oil coal and so forth to produce your your energy so B is correct